please do tell me what your most essential piece to have in your wardrobe is that clothing item that you must always have in your wardrobe Let me introduce you. hey 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 <laughs> oh hi it's your first time here my name is Adenike or Oluri Esho so today I'll be sharing with you how I'm building my wardrobe again from scratch now if you've seen the video and I'll link it again down below in the description box I recently emptied out my wardrobe and I gave out a lot of my clothes like I said in that video I was just tired of the clothes I had a lot of them I'd, I'd had for a while um, you know when you have a closet full of clothes but you still feel like you don't have something to wear and I realized at that time that it was because my idea of style was changing my idea of fashion and what i felt like wearing was changing and it didn't necessarily have anything to do with the trends or items that were trendy it had a lot to just do with me outgrowing certain things i guess so because of that i decided to empty out my wardrobe and i told myself i'm going to save some money together and start again from beginning okay so i did a lot of research and i realized that the essential pieces that i needed to get to start building my wardrobe again now i have this bag this yeah full of clothes that are all brand new that i just got and they would be the basis upon which i'm starting my wardrobe again from scratch number one to do this budget is very essential i had to save for a bit and even then i wasn't willing to throw a lot of money at once into buying a lot of clothes so what i did was to i shopped a few items off of sales i shopped off of a couple of websites that I know were affordable and still stylish such as H&M, um, Shein.com and a few other websites you know to get a few pieces and I was able to work within my budget and still get the essential items that I need. I know it looks like a lot but just because I didn't fold them I just dumped them in there. Once I'm done with this video I would fold them and you know arrange them properly in their places. So an essential piece that I had to get that I've always wanted and I had to get was a denim jacket okay a lot of articles that I read all said the same thing you need a denim jacket if you're building your wardrobe from scratch and you know this was the particular style that I went for this particular denim is kind of like an oversized denim and I like it because with a denim jacket you can wear anything you want inside and just throw this on top and then you're good to go so that made a lot of sense to me and I'd always wanted one as well another item that I got which was not considered essential but I really loved was a denim skirt okay um, it's summer right now and it has a sleeves over there um, it's summer right now I love wearing skirts a lot possibly more than I love wearing trousers actually um, so I'm going to be wearing a lot of skirts shorts and whatnot so when I saw this particular denim again I knew I had to get it for tops I got a lot of basic colors whites I got a lot like I got white v-necks white sleeveless uh, this is a white like uh, you know bodysuit sleeveless um, I have a white shirt already so I didn't bother buying a new one I got a white again uh, this is like a white camisole that I could wear inside and throw that denim jacket on top of it and I'm good to go but again that was another thing that I learned that I needed to buy basic colors to start with so that is what I'm starting with I got a lot of blacks as well again see this is a black V <laughs> a blazer so this is a black blazer there were different colors but to start with I figured black goes with everything okay rather than me buying mauve or pink or yellow you know those are colors I can decide to buy later if I really do need them but at least if I have a black or white blazer it can always go on anything but personally I decided to go with a black blazer and I think this particular one I got from his guided yes this I got from his guided and I think I got it for like $20 or so and I really like it, it looks so good on me again this blazer is just
just as good as the denim jacket but like a corporate dressier version of the denim jacket next is bags i'm not really a handbag person like i because it just seems like load and all of that i hardly find handbags that i really like and that's why my teddy blake handbag i'm always carrying it just because i love it so much but the color which i don't have here right now but the color of my teddy blake handbag is kind of like orange you know like brownish orange so i needed to get a bag that was a neutral color and i decided to go with just a small purse that it's uh it's a cross body it has this chain over there i could carry it as a pass or i could carry it as a cross body and it's just perfect because my teddy blake handbag is quite big and i needed something small and compact this i believe i got from sheen.com and i probably got for like ten dollars it's not a designer but it looks it, it looks like and i'm sorry i don't have the links for all these items because i just i got them all all over the place you know i might remember the website but yeah i'm so sorry i apologize if i do have the links for any of these items they will be down below in the description box okay so just check over there but yeah like i said i really liked this it's compact compared to the other one i have and then it's cross body that's not a style that i already own so it will fit conveniently in my closet what is a brand new wardrobe without a pair of denim shorts yes and i decided to get high waisted shorts because i'm working on my tummy right now so i figured this would just be the best uh, you know hide in the little tummy that i have and still wear shorts so really that was what and because it's stylish as well you know i mean look at it look at it <laughs> that was why i decided to get this particular um high waisted shorts and it's summer again it is very hot in houston i'm telling you so this is going to come in very handy because of covid lockdowns and everything i haven't been going to events and all of that so i don't have a lot of dressy dresses in my closet but i did buy this plain white dress you know i loved the style and i figured it would be good to have something dressy in my closet just in case something comes up so i got just one um and you know i like the is this called a crew neck I don't think it's called a crooner. You know, that high high neck dress. I used to have something like that way back in the day. So when I say it, it reminded me of that dress and I just really love that particular style. So I got it. However, it is kind of thick. So I don't know if I'll be wearing this this summer. Yes, I did get brand new underwear as well. Okay, well, we no need to show you guys that, but I did get brand new underwear. So I've gotten underwear, I've gotten clothes, I've gotten handbag. What else do I need? Shoes. So it is summer right now. I have a decent shoe collection, so I didn't go crazy with shoes. I just got the two things I didn't have, which would be a pair of flip flops. Um, yeah, sorry, <laughs> there we go. Yeah, a pair of flip flops and a pair of flats covered shoes. Where's the second leg? Okay, yeah, there we go. This is what this one looks um like and i decided to get this because i don't have anything like this right now you know those days where you don't feel like wearing heels but at the same time you don't want to wear sneakers or wear slippers this is the answer <laughs> i'm not that girl that says oh you know wear heels all the time have a baby you know you know i yeah yeah you know so anyway <laughs> so i got this and they fit perfectly and like i said it's summer right now so and i like wearing slippers so i saw this although i do have to admit they looked better on the website that i got it from uh than in person but it is still quite stylish and the color looks um good on me so i'll wear it for the flip-flops i didn't want to get a neutral color because i feel all my clothes are kind of like neutral colors i wanted a pop of color so i decided to get this one and this one and the last thing that i got was a pair of wristwatch yeah I got that wristwatch because this is kind of old it's sporty it's not particularly dressy so this will go and then i got this rings as well because i really love it when ladies layer their rings you know like it just looks so good and i always want to do that but 
I just couldn't find, sorry, let me just open this, there we go. I always wanted to do that, but I couldn't find rings that I liked or rings that I could layer properly with. So I found this one and so far I love it on me. Um, and I figured I could, this is something I could layer with. It, it will probably look nicer if I had like, a, let's see. But it still looks so nice. So probably look nicer if I had like stiletto nails or whatnot. That's the third one over there. Let's see. And that completes my outfits, my wardrobe, starting again from the beginning. I've spent some money on these items. I'll keep wearing this. And then as I go along, I will look at pieces that I like, pieces that, you know, will make my wardrobe even better. And I might buy them here and there, but I'm not going to be doing like a bulk buying like I have done this time, okay? Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this was helpful if you're considering starting again from scratch. If you're considering starting your wardrobe again from scratch or if you want to get rid of your old items and you're not sure what to leave behind and whatnot, I really, really hope this video helped you out and at least you were able to learn one or two things from the video, okay? Please subscribe to the channel if you aren't. Please do tell me what your most essential piece to have in your wardrobe is. That clothing item that you must always have have in your wardrobe i want to know please tell me down below in the comment section okay thank you so much for watching i love you so much i can't wait to see you again very very soon i pray god blesses you your homes your marriages your relationships most importantly i pray god blesses you really god and god bless you bye <laughs>